Hey friends, welcome back to this series of 20 days of Kronos configuration. Today is day number 8 and we're going to learn about schedule deviation. Prior to that, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe my channel. If you want to learn more about Kronos and other Kronos related stuff, please subscribe and hit that bell button so that you get notified for my upcoming videos. And if you haven't had a chance to look into the first 7 days of video tutorials on Kronos uh, I will put the playlist link in the description so that you can go through them as well and some of the topics are connected so I would recommend you watch the first seven days video as well. That being said let's go straight into the application and see how we are going to configure schedule deviation. Here we are in the application to access schedule deviation expand pay policies from the setup scroll down to the work rule building block and right here we have the schedule deviations. Prior to that we've seen in the previous session bonuses and deduction, auto resolve exceptions, breaks, core hours exceptions, shift guarantee, rounding rules and then we've also seen the pay codes. Today we're going to see how to configure schedule deviation. We're not going to see call-ins. Um, that is not much commonly used. You, I haven't used it at all in any of my projects and I don't anticipate um, you using them as well but if you have any any um, questions on it or if you want to know more about it just drop me a note in the comments and I will get back to you with more information on Collins. So let's open schedule deviation and see what we can set up inside this. Now when you open schedule deviation you will unlike the other building blocks that we have seen there is not much in it all it has is uh, four options like before shift, after shift, not schedule and requires approval. So typically there are three radio buttons which we can use in order to set up the schedule deviation and the fourth one is just the checkbox for if it requires approval or not. So before I get in and get started with this schedule deviation let me tell you one of the important things that now that we are climbing up and pretty close to the work rules. Schedule deviation is one of the one of the four premium pay situations or conditions that you will come across. One of them is schedule deviation and then you have rest between the shifts, overtimes and zones. The reason that we say it's th these are premium pay situations because the employees for example now that we are looking into schedule deviation there can be situation where the employee is not supposed typically like Saturday or Sunday when they are not supposed to work. If they work then what kind of pay code do we pay them? Likewise you can have overtimes, rest between the shifts and zone as well. So in the next few sessions that you will see we are going to consider all the premium pay situations. Now before we configure a schedule deviation I would like to show you as I always do something before we configure prior to that I would like to show you how things look like if we do not configure that particular rule. So if the schedule deviation is not set up especially if you see here we have three options before shift after shift and not scheduled. The most commonly used one that you will come across is the not scheduled one or the unscheduled. What that means is if, if an employee who, are, who is supposed to work from Monday to Friday. Typically if you work from Monday to Friday, Friday you get paid uh, on your regular whatever is the regular pay is that that's what you get paid right and that's the pay code that you get to see as well. For example 9 to 6 when I when I come from 9 to 6 you will notice that the pay code that get generated is regular. However if I work on a Saturday I should get something like overtime or maybe double time so if I work on a Saturday, same hours, 9 to 6, I should get something uh, different like double pay. But you see again it is regular which has been generated which is now the total is 18 hours for Monday and Saturday as well. So that is where your schedule deviation will come into picture. Employees when they are not scheduled to work and if they work on the day when they are not scheduled to work based on the company policy or based on the labor laws you are supposed to pay them double or maybe 
1.5 times or 2.5 times or maybe at times if it is unscheduled day and a public holiday then you may have to pay them triple time as well so let's see how the schedule deviation impacts the employees pay let's go into the setup and we are already on the schedule deviation I'm just going to enter uh, go back and then click on schedule deviation again just in case if you want to see and I'm going to name it as unscheduled right here and select un not schedule so what we are trying to set up is if an employee is working on an unscheduled day when he's not scheduled to work what will the system how will the system behave what kind of pay code will get will the system generate it should not be regular for sure it should be double time or it should be uh, overtime or 2.5 times or triple time whatever is the company policy having said that you also have an option here which is before shift and after shift so that means you can set up a rule using the schedule deviation that if the employees scheduled to work from 12 to 9 and when they come and work let's say around 10 in the morning from 10 to 12 you can generate double time or you can pay overtime 1.5 times as well and after the shift the employee is supposed to work till 9 but if I work till 11 p.m. that is two hours after my schedule and time so these two hours can be paid as overtime as well or I can create a rule for one of them again it all depends on the requirements I'm going to select only unscheduled the most commonly used one and that is all I'm going to click on save now the thing with schedule deviation and any of this premium pay situation that you see here schedule deviation uh, rest between the shift overtime zones you cannot directly assign this into the work rule having said that eventually you will have to assign this in the work rule but prior to that for us to see this happening on the time card we will have to go through the the combination rule and the pay code distribution because as I said if the employee is working on a Saturday if the employee is working on a Saturday a different pay code should be generated for example if I'm working on a typical regular day you see regular pay code is generated so this pay code that you see which is generated if I'm working on a Saturday some other pay code should come in place of regular so for that reason we will have to go through the combination rule as well as pay code distribution so we just created the schedule deviation this schedule deviation has to go inside the combination rule and then the combination rule will go inside the PCD and the PCD will be assigned in the work rule so let's create the combination rule I'm going to click on new and let's just give it a name demo and this is the schedule deviation that we have as of now and I'm going to click on save and return now let's go to the pay code distribution so that we can assign that combination rule that we just created inside the pay code distribution okay I'm going to assign right here the combination rule and click on demo and now you can see that the schedule deviation that we created with the name as unscheduled is right here and then there is a situation which is a default default as in there is no just like typical regular hours that you work Monday to Friday you can give a pay code for that what pay code do you want to see and what pay code do you want to see for your unscheduled day so for default you can just give your regular pay code or your normal pay code which you uh, like normal hours and then for the unscheduled day if I'm working on a Saturday or Sunday or a day when I'm not supposed to work but if I work on that day I should get double time so that is where I am assigning this pay code now more about pay code distribution we'll see in our upcoming tutorials but for now we are focusing more on the schedule deviations I'm not going to spend too much time on pay code distribution you can look for uh, the upcoming videos on pay code distribution where I'm going to cover in detail about pay code distribution I'm going to save and return and this 
CD will go into our work rule. So we already have a work rule that we created. All we need to do is assign this PCD in our work rules. So right here in the PA code distribution, I'm going to assign our pay code distribution that we just created and that that contains uh, this unscheduled schedule deviation which we will assign and I'm going to click on save so friends I hope you got what we just did just to give a quick recap of what we have done we created an unscheduled schedule deviation that means we selected the unscheduled day any employee who, who will be working on a not scheduled day we can define a different pay code to do so we created a combination rule right here in the combination rule we've assigned the unscheduled schedule deviation and to define the pay code we created the pay code distribution in the pay code distribution we've assigned double time for the time the, the employee will, will be working on an unscheduled day and for normal working hours like Monday to Friday it will be the normal pay code that will be paid now this pay code distribution is assigned in the work rule that we already had which was already assigned to the employee and in the work rule under the PCD or pay code distribution section the moment you assign the the pay code distribution you will see whatever is inside that pay code distribution like currently we only had scheduled deviation but it can also contain your overtime so zones and other premium pay situation so now that our scheduled deviation is created and we've assigned that in the PCD and the PCD or pay code distribution assigned in the work rule let's go to the employees time card click on refresh and test our configuration so now I'm going to now I'm going to put a punch on Saturday at around 9 in the morning and let's say employee works till uh, 2 in the afternoon click on calculate totals and there you go there you have your double time for 5 hours right earlier if you remember we've seen that the pay code that was generated was regular but now the pay code that is generated is double time and that is correct as well right because Saturday and Sunday is a rest day for me but if I come to work if I am asked to come to work the company is supposed to pay me double because it's a rest day for me or it's an unscheduled not supposed to work I'm not supposed to work on that particular day so I got that double time so that is how you can set up schedule deviation pretty simple um, setup that we have for schedule deviation I hope you found this video tutorial informative if you have any questions or any comments or if you want to give any feedback please put that down in the comment section and if you want to know more about Kronos and the upcoming modules of Kronos that I'm going to cover please make sure you subscribe to this channel and um, do share this with any of your friends who are interested in learning Kronos and do like and comment as well Thanks again for watching and I will see you soon next time.